Hello everyone, in this demonstration I'm quickly going to show you how we make these amazing funky little peyote beaded beads. Now these are peyote double drop graduated. Graduated because we're using 11 O's and 8 O's in the same little beaded bead. And obviously double drop because the little Mayuki section either side, we're picking up two beads at a time instead of one. Hence the name double drop. So it takes about five minutes to make one of these little beaded beads. You use a minimum of, of um, beads, so it's perfect for all your, your odds and ends you have in your bead stash. So what you're going to need to start are two sizes of beads. And as I just mentioned, I've gone for an 11-0 Mayuki seed bead and an 8 Delica. There's nothing stopping you using the same type of bead, i.e. seed beads or Delicas, but I like the mixture of the two because it adds a little bit of texture running through the centre. I've got a size 10 needle, a piece of thread about 45 to 50 centimetres long, and at the end I've popped a stopper bead, leaving a tail of about 4 inches. Okay, you'll use this to tie off at the end, so you will need a stopper bead with a tail. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add the following combination onto our piece of thread. I'm picking up one, two, three, four of my 11 O's, two of my 8 O Delicas, and four of my 11 O's. So that's 10 beads altogether, eight either side with the two Delicas running down the center. Okay, so we're calling it double drop, but we're only going to be double dropping the 11 O's, not the Delicas in the center. So I'm going to slide that down so it meets the stopper bead like so. I'm going to turn it away from me so I have the stopper bead pointing away. And because this is double drop, as I've just mentioned, instead of picking up one bead at a time, I'm picking up two. So I've got two of my little 11 O's. I'm coming out to the bottom 11, so I'm going to go back towards that stopper bead, missing the first two 11 O's and sewing through the next two. So then when I pull the thread, okay, the beads will sit next to each other like a little square. Then we come to the Delica section. This time I'm going to pick up one instead of two because this is the equivalent size of two of your 11 O's. Pull that through. So that will sit again nice and neatly alongside. Then we're missing two 11 O's. So one and two. We're going to jump two and through two. Bring that nice and tight. So then when we have it all neatly laid out, you can see we have two groups of two, then one, then we have the two Delicas, one, two, one. So already you can see the little castellations in between your piece of work. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to work away from me. Again, we're starting with the 11 O's. So I'm going to pick up two. I'm going to skip two through two. Once you've done a couple of rows of peyote, the beads, because of the way they, they stand proud, that it, it's really good. It tells you where to put the next bead, which is really, really cool. So next I'm going to add a Delica. I'm going to slide that on. Pull that through and it'll sit. And you can already see the band starting to fall down the center. Then already we've got a gap here, which so we know that we're going to fill that with two 11 O's. So one and two. And we're going to sew up through, I'm going to pull that through, so that's your fourth row. And you can keep count by the number of rows because of the number of Delicas that you've got. So we've got four Delicas in the centre there, so we know that we're on row four. Now for this, you will need to do ten rows. Okay, so I'll quickly do one more. So I'm picking up two elevens, I'm going to sew up through two. And then we come to the Delica row. The space is there waiting, so I'm just going to add the Delica. Pulling that nice and tight. And then we've got the space there for the next two 11 O's. So I'm going to slide that through and pull. So you're going to keep going with this technique until you have 10 rows. And the way to count is you'll have 10 of the Delicas in the centre. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. And here's one that I've made. So you can see now we've got our 10 rows because we've got our 10 Delicas down the centre. And the way we need to finish is we need to have a sticky out 
either side in opposite directions. If we have two that were in the that were the same, when we come to do the zip up, which is the next part, it won't work. You'll have two ends touching each other. You won't be able to zip it up. So make sure that you've got a sticky outy at the top and a sticky inny at the bottom and obviously vice versa. So what we're going to do is we need to zip up. So we've got our piece of work and we're simply going to fold it in half. Don't worry about the shape at the moment. And can you see I'm exiting through this bottom left bead. I've got this partner two on that side. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle across the gap and sew up through those two first 11 O's, which will bring those together. We can already see it starting to cinch. Then I'm going to go across with my needle and into the next two 11 O's on the left hand side. You can already see it starting to cinch. We're up to the delicate, so I'm going to go across and up through. Then I'm going to go to the left and up through. Then I'm going to go across to the right through the two 11 O's. And then finally, I'm going to go to the left and I'm going to sew up through the last two 11s on the left hand side. Okay, so keep that needle on. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a seed bead squidge. So I'm just going to manipulate that little beaded bead in my fingers. And then I'm going to slide off the stopper bead. And then with the two ends, I'm going to tie a single knot, which will cinch the zip together. And then just for added security, I'm going to add to a double knot. Okay, I'm going to pull that nice and tight. So you can see that beaded shape is all nicely cinched up with that nice band of delicas going down the center. And then with my needle and thread, I'm going to get away from the knot before I cut it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew down the first two. Then I'm going to sew up through the second two. And then lastly, I'm just going to sew down through the next two. Just to give it a bit of security. Pull that nice and tight. And then with a sharp pair of scissors, I can now go in and I can cut my tail off. And I can also cut the long tail, the working. Now at the moment, it's a bit of an odd shape. So all I'm going to do is taking my bead all, I'm just going to pop it in one end and as you can see, that gives it a nice circular shape. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to just opening the hole. And that means then you have a hole all the way down through the center of your bead to then pop your thread if you wanted to. Okay, because there you have a really nice little beaded bead with a delicate section. So I've got a piece of jewelry here that I've made using these beaded beads with a strand of phosphiderite so as you can see, I've used, the, I've used the gemstone alongside the seed beads, which I like to do quite often. And all I've done just to separate them is I've used little delicas in between, just to, just to give it a bit of space in between the beaded beads. And then I've finished it off with a nice rose gold sterling silver clasp, a little toggle clasp on the end there, just to finish it off. So that's your double drop graduated peyote beaded beads. I hope you enjoy. Bye bye.